Hello everyone. I am Rama. In this video, I am going to show how to get iterations in calculator fx991 yes plus in bisection method. Let us solve one problem. Solve x e power x minus 2 equal to 0 using bisection method. In a bisection method, we need to choose an interval a comma b. for which we take x values randomly then we can observe that f of 0 is less than 0 f of 1 is greater than 0 since the function values are of opposite signs then we choose the interval closed interval 0 comma 1 in which uh, the root of the equation lies so the interval is to be compared with a comma b now in bisection method the iteration formula is x equal to a plus b by 2 and then immediately we need to find f of x based on the sign of f of x we will decide a new interval of the form a comma b and again we can find the next iteration is obtained as a plus b by 2 let us see how to get it in calculator each time we need to get x equal to a plus b by 2 and immediately function value is required to decide a new interval in this problem we have taken closed interval a comma b as 0 comma 1 in calculator i will not have small letters so i have taken them as capital letters but when we are writing the solution we should take them as small uh, small a small b or else we can put this as it is let us see how to type in calculator so i should type as x colon f of x x is nothing but our iteration formula which is a x equal to a plus b by 2 colon f of x is from given equation which is x e power x minus 2 so x is given by midpoint of the interval and at this point x we need to find f of x value so the, exactly this is to be typed in calculator let us type x equal to alpha x everything should be taken in pink color only fraction a alpha a plus alpha b by 2 come to right hand uh, right side and then use colon that is here alpha integration button and then f of x or f of x is x e power x minus 2 so i should type alpha x e power x minus So, after typing x colon f of x, nothing but x equal to a plus b by 2 colon x e power x minus 2. We need to use calculate. It is asking for a. a is not, nothing but starting point of the interval. Something can be seen here. No need to consider this. So, a should be given as 0 and then press equal to then it is asking for b b is another end point of the interval that is 1 here something can be seen no need to worry about it let us give b 1 and then press equal to so we got the value of x as 0 0.5 at this 0 0.5 the function value is to be determined after x immediately we will find f of x for which we need to e use this equal to button then i got the value minus 1.175 which is negative so we should take f of x which is positive that is at 1 so our root lies between 0 0.5 and 1 now our interval a b has become a is 0 
b is 1. So, in uh, to get the next iteration after seeing f of x value and noting down that value and choosing the interval a b we can press this equal to button. Now, you can see a question mark a can be given 0 0.5 and then press equal to it will be asking for b, b can be seen as 1. So, we can press equal to or else again you can give 1 and then press equal to. We can see the value 3 by 4 nothing but 0 0.75. And immediately we need to note down f of x value for which press equal to it is minus 0 0.412 which is negative. Function value is negative at 0 0.75 we need to look for positive at some x which is at f of 1 at x equal to 1. So, the new interval is 0 0.75 and 1. So, to get the third iteration in calculator after noting, noting down f of x value here press equal to and then give a value here a is 0 0.75 and then press equal to b should be given as 1 already 1 is appearing without entering any value I am using equal to button so that I got the value 0 0.875 x value is 0 0.75 this is the third iteration. Now immediately I need to note down its corresponding function value which is 0 0.09 which is positive. So, at 0 0.875 function value is positive at 0 0.75 the function value is negative. So, we should choose our interval as the root lies between 0 0.75 and 0 0.875. So, again we need to use this equal to button. So, we will enter a value and e press equal to we enter b value. So, we note down x value and immediately f of x value. This will be repeated. This can be stopped when two successive iterations are same up to the desired accuracy. This is what to be done in bisection method. Thank you.